Yes, dear good farmers, this is Menit Farms uh, here again. We are in a place uh, somewhere in Ujiri district called Bukanda village, Iwemba sub county, at one of our clients' farm who sought our services uh, to be able to change a few things here and there at this farm so that it can make business sense. Yeah, so uh, for our followers who do not know uh, where Bujiri is, Bujiri is uh, in the eastern part of Uganda, where we are today. So we have uh, apparently uh, crafted a business plan for three years that we are implementing to make sure that uh, uh, this place uh, is turned. We thank you, dear farmers, for responding to our call of uh, the next generation goat farmers. And uh, this place is going to be uh, a breed bank of most goat breeds uh, here in uh, the country and the region at large. Yeah, so I'm going to be expounding more on uh, what entails the next generation goat farmers. Yeah, so in the next generation goat farmers, we want farmers who understand breeding. Yeah, farmers who are able to uh, understand the blood percentages of their animals. Because what we are going to be doing is buying animals according to their blood percentages. So. If you're a farmer and you do not know uh, the blood percentages of your animal, then definitely this is going to cost you. That is why uh, we have uh, to make sure the records are clear at this point. So secondly, uh, the next generation good farmers are farmers who are able to uh, have targets that at the end they can monitor and evaluate. So there should be a guiding document, uh, sort of a business plan, that should guide you so you know what you expect, what you envisage to have in one year or two years or three years in terms of the numbers of the animals at the farm. So this will help you to plan your market strategies. Yeah, so the third thing uh, under the next generation good farmers we are focusing on uh, clear record keeping. Uh, records that can ensure clear breeds, uh, traceability of uh, the vaccines that are being given to the uh, animals that is able to trace uh, the family tree of the breeds, but also trace uh, the vaccine schedules that uh, a particular breed is being given over time. Yeah, so uh, a farmer should have uh, these records clear and uh, at any one point uh, a farmer should be able to uh, show them clearly to any prospective uh, uh, breeder or farmer uh, in this sense. Yeah, so uh, the next thing, which is the fourth one, under the next generation good farmers is we want to locate farmers. You will bear with me that uh, we have uh, quite uh, a lot of middlemen and cornmen flocking uh, this industry. Yeah, but uh, as many farms driving this agenda, we want to make sure that farmers can be located and can be uh, counted. Apparently, uh, our digital systems will enable uh, the farmers to be uh, counted but also located like today we are providing this place uh, Mifugo Farms Limited uh, so uh, dear farmers we want at the end of the day the farmer to gain from their ventures and not the middlemen and all the corn men who corn uh, farmers of their hard earned cash yeah so lastly uh, in this uh, next generation of good farmers we want to ensure that uh, farmers have uh, legal uh, farms registered or formalized. Yeah, this will not only uh, help us 
to uh, venture into new markets, regional markets, but also will increase our competitiveness uh, as far as uh, goat farming and breeding are concerned. And uh, uh, of course, increasing our partnerships and lobbying capacity. Yeah, you will uh, realize that apparently uh, the goat uh, industry is not subsidized under the uh, insurance scheme. If you have to cover the goats, you have to pay a 100% premium. Yeah, but when you have uh, most of these uh, areas I've expounded on as a goat farmer, then we can have uh, a voice, uh, can have a formidable force that can uh, 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 inform uh, the ministry and all the other actors to be able to uh, give us such a subsidy like it is doing to the other uh, farmers in the other sectors like the cows and the pigs. Yeah, so even us as good farmers, we need this. Yeah, so uh, dear farmers, this call uh, is legitimate and we want both practicing farmers and prospective farmers to kindly follow suit so that we can be organized and have uh, a common voice that will enable us uh, to perform. Of course, you know that failure to compliance is very expensive. And so we have to, in a way, comply to some of these uh, statutory uh, obligations if we are to uh, gain from uh, our avengers and have uh, a legitimate uh, call. I thank you and call upon uh, many more farmers to join the industry so that we can revitalize uh, the industry to the stage we want it to be. Yeah, so uh, in the same spirit, I want to uh, thank uh, the other players already in the, in the market and in play, uh, doing the same uh, to make sure that we shape uh, the industry. Uh, we have the likes of Ham Breeding, Grace Woji, uh, M. Linza, and the rest. So uh, let us have as many of these as possible because the market is enormous and uh, we cannot satisfy even the regional market and the local market here. So we need as many players as possible so that we can uh, uh, fulfill the market needs. I thank you once again.